Sagittarius, this is your weekly reading. Let's see what we have for you. What do we have for Sagittarius? Hmm. The star. I'm hearing everything you can. Everything you can. Maybe you're doing everything you can to improve yourself. To have some type of power in the community that you are in. To have some type of hand like you want to be part of the community but you want to be important in the community that you are in you just you don't want to just be part of the community you want to make a difference in the community doing everything that you can you might be in an energy winning at all cost you know Maybe doing some cheating to get ahead. Hmm. So seriously, it feels like you're trying to show someone or some people your truth, your worth, or your abilities to perform, to show your um, skills. There's something about showing your skills. Like it's it's almost like you want to prove it to them that you are capable of the position that you are in in the community that you are in. Night, get down. I don't have time for this. You can't, You could have no time as well, Sagittarius. You could be like, your schedule is so tight that you're like, oh my God, I don't have time for any bullshit. It's all serious. It's all serious energy here. Like you're not playing, are you? You are not fucking playing. And there we go again. There is someone here from the past that wants to come in. But you need to be af afraid. I was going to say you need to be aware, but I said afraid. You need to be aware of this person because they don't have good intentions towards you. Tell me more. What is this? This person wants to come in your life to manipulate you, to sell you a dream, but really, <laughs> that's not their real intentions. So seriously, they want something from you. Whether this is moral, emotional, financial, it's something that they want from you and they're going to try to get it through manipulation, through telling you what you want to hear, through bullshit, hoping that that would trick you. What should Sagittarius do about this person? do about this person ah uh, well it's telling you don't okay so it's telling you entertain this person entertain them in the sense where you allow them to come in and try to even manipulate you because there will be a great lesson and strength for you in that. So allow this person to come in, hear them out. You're like, da, 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 I blah, 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 I miss you, I love you, uh, let's, let's get married, let's, whatever that they are thinking that will get you hooked, let them say it, let, allow them to say it. 
Night. I'm trying to work you horny bitch. <laughs> she does this when she's horny. Anyways. <laughs> Maybe the person that's coming towards you has that energy. Maybe they're just horny and they don't know or don't think that you will just accept them back because they want to be in bed with you. So what you should do, Sagittarius, is allow this person to open up to you, tell you what they want, tell you how they feel, blah, blah, blah. But take it with a distance. Don't take it too hard, too fast, okay? Make sure that you are aware that there is this possibility of them trying to trick you. So words, words, words. You don't believe or eat up words just because they sound good, okay? You want them to be uh, supported by action. And this person will not show you action, they're just talk, okay? So Sagittarius, basically don't shut this person out or don't reject them or block them. Allow them to speak their mind, allow them to say their piece. Because that will, um, it will kind of like put closure on your end. You know when someone says something and you're like, oh my God, you just made it easier for me to make a decision about you. And it's that energy. So when they come back and say this and that, just say, okay, I'll hear you out. What do you have to say? What do you have to offer? What do you want? And after they say everything, I don't know, maybe think about it a day or two, but only think about it with total awareness of that they have bad intentions or they could have bad intentions. You don't have to believe me. See for yourself, judge for yourself. Don't judge too fast, allow them to speak and then really sit with yourself and check in. How did that make me feel? How did I feel when I was with them? Were they telling the truth? Was it all talk? Is there anything in their action and behavior that supports what they're saying? These are the things that you have to question. It's the why, you know? The why comes from suspicion. So make sure that you see things with this person with a grain of suspicion. <laughs> because that will allow you to gain some type of true closure and true decision when it comes to this person. I feel like they will not try again after this because you will figure them out and they won't be happy about that either. Because this person thinks that they are so slick that, they, that they've got you figured out and got you around their finger. Honey, they are so far from wrong they do confuse you, I do see that. They do confuse you. But when they come back, you don't have to be confused. You don't have to be confused, okay? You can uh, see things differently with having in your mind that this person is not genuine. Or they have an agenda of some kind. They have something that they want to gain from you. Whatever it is, you know? And it could be really stupid. People people will envy you for stupid shit. So it can be anything, literally. It can be really anything. But it could be sexual for them as well. Because, you know, the horny cat. <laughs> um, okay. There's someone here that's denying their feelings for you. They're like, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm not falling for that. There's a person here that's... Uh, so there's, there's a person here that is um, resisting you. And it's not like you're doing anything. But they're resisting their feelings for you. Meaning... They're trying not to support or encourage the feelings that they are feeling for you. And instead, they're 
They're killing it. <laughs> uh, they're killing their feelings for you. Or like, you know, they're, they're not acknowledging or they don't want to acknowledge their feelings for you. Because... Because they're an overthinker, okay? Because they are a player and they are an opportunist. Okay, so this person is afraid of commitment. Simple put, simply put, okay? Um, this person is like, oh my God, I have feelings. Oh my God, I'm thinking about that person. Ew, you know? It's like, ew, this is so not me. I, I need to... I need to get rid of this disease, <laughs> aka their feelings for you. This person is simply a non-committal person and they are an opportunist. They like to see or they like to go after the things that will benefit them emotionally, financially, whatever it is that they are after, they like the benefit. If the benefit is lacking, because you know love can be unconditional. Love can be uh, a sacrifice. That That is what love is, that you give without having to expect in return. You're loving because it's coming from you. But that person is not that type of person. This person is a dealer. And if there, if there is no comeback or if there is no benefit for the love that they might have for you, they will kill it like they kill a cockroach with a flip-flop. Okay, okay, this is, this is, how do you feel about this person, Sagittarius? How do you feel about this person? Let's see, let's dig in deeper. Yeah, you know this, you know, you know that this is not going anywhere. You know this. You're like, meh, whatever happens, happens. I don't give a fuck. Uh, I mean, you could even have feelings for them. I see that you are waiting, like, like, so long, darling, I see you another day. You do have feelings for this person, but you're not attached to those feelings that you have for this person. You're like, whatever happens, happens. I don't give a fuck. You want to kill your feelings for me? Go ahead. I'll help you with the execution. You think I have feelings for you? I have feelings for me to you. There's a difference. You know when you love someone, you don't really fully love them for themselves, but the love that you give is coming from you, is stemming from you. Your love language is, is the way that you express yourself when it comes to love. So... I'm talking to a Sagittarius that's like, I don't expect, like, there is an understanding of love. Like, you understand love. Even when you gave it to this person, or if you did something that is lovable to this person, you're like, I am at peace with that. You know, you don't have to do anything. This is, this, this is the love that I decided to give you at the time knowing that there might no there might not be a return on it that is the meaning of love because you cannot have um love and have some type of agreement that's not love that's that's arranged marriage you know what i mean it doesn't like you understand love confirmation from my tummy because i'm fasting it right now anyways so you understand love and you understand if this person doesn't want to return on it it's okay meh you know there is a part of you that's still waiting for something to happen between you and this person but you're you're not holding your breath on it you're not holding your breath uh, you're still working hard focusing on yourself there is a bit of unfulfillment on your part Sagittarius you know maybe because you're a bit lonely but I see here that you're like it is what it is. It is what it is. I really love that saying. It is where it is, you know? It is what it is. You cannot force the outside to uh, become your inside. The only thing that you can do is express the self to the outside. 
the outside has its own entity. So you cannot control that. Don't even try. You know? So even when you love, even when you give love, there is no regret on your part. You're still doing your thing, uh, regardless of the outcome. You know what I mean? <sighs> Let's see if there's something else. My tummy is like, you are my first sign, so I have a long way to go. My tummy is like, blah, 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 blah. feed me, bitch. There's someone that has regrets. This is another person. Wow. How many people have you got in your radar? There is a person here that, um, that possibly has left you or ghosted you or something. I mean, there's definitely a separation between the two of you and this person is, is like, it could be the same person, I don't know. You take it as a resonate, but let's talk about the energy here. This person is like, they have a lot of regrets. They have a lot of regrets when it comes to Loving you. They wish they did things differently. And you know why they're feeling like this? Because their spirit guides is giving them a whip. You. Stupid. Little. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they are getting whipped by their spirit guides. They're like... Mm -mm -mm. Not in your best interest. Why have you done this? Yeah, look at this. This person is being put in the hermit mode to reflect on the things that has happened between the two of you. And through the hermit mood, mood? Through the hermit, it is a mood actually. Through a hermit mode, they will come to the truth and the realization of how and what thing, like how things happen between the two of you. So they will find the truth once they are forced into a hermit mode. They could be going through that already. Oh, they will really, like, I, I think I've said this. In your bonus reading, Sagittarius, that you have caused someone to awaken. And this is literally it. It's like you have worked with their spirit guides to put them in hermit mode so that they truly do introspection and come to the truth of their actions and sort it the fuck out. And they're doing that. They're doing that. They will come out on the other side, feeling much better, but they are definitely going through the dark night of the soul. They're going through the truth or they're going after the truth. They don't know if they will get the truth, but they are in the search of the truth and they will find it. They will find the truth. Hmm. Spirit is not leaving this person alone. It's like spirit is constantly reminding this person of you and what happened and how they've dealt with it and how stupid they were with it. I'm going to stop searching in this person because I feel, I, I feel bad in a way. Like this is, like, this person cannot get out of the situation or the energy that they are in because it cannot be helped. They cannot stop it. It's like, you know, when you do something and you have to write it out. You cannot stop now. And that's what they're going through.
Anything else? Anything else for Sagittarius, please? <clears throat> Sisters, I see that there are people here that want to work with you. I'm hearing inferior. You, you might have people that feel inferior in your present or in your presence. But through you, they see the light. Wow. You have people around you that want to work with you because they are attracted. It's like a moth to a flame or a moth, a, a, a moth to a light. You know what I mean? So they 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 want to be near you, around you, talk to you, be friends with you, maybe be more or something of that sort, so that they can better their own life. This, these people feel inferior when they are around you. And it's like they're trying to understand where it's coming from. They want to be with you so that they learn from you, but it's like they don't know what they need to learn. So they're trying to learn you or they're trying, like they see some type of light through you. It's like through you they will become better or through you they will become superior or perhaps that's what they're thinking i don't know but they they seem to be wanting to spend time with you to pick your brain or to use your light to get them out of their own trouble or their own inferior complex that they're feeling I'm just going to leave it there. Sagittarius, I feel like these are your messages. I almost finished the whole deck on your reading. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will see you soon.